Here we go, 19,166. We've got the Dual Trilogy. We had some really cool cards last time, I believe it was, so I'm hoping I can continue that trend. That is also when I build our breaks. That's how. Well, that's obviously what I use. So, well, that's gonna be a cool one. I'm gonna save that one to the end. That's gonna be a glass card. Because that's also how I build the breaks and then know what's uh, what teams are to go heavy on. Eight forty nine Pavelski for the Sharks. Base card. Uh, McDavid. Yeah, I think is. He doesn't sign with many other people. Same with Crosby and those guys. They have kind of contracts on that stuff. We've got a 999 for the Coyotes, Dvorak. I don't know if McDavid specifically does, but there's a lot of guys who have contracts of who they can have autographs specifically with. I'm pretty sure Matthews has that as well. 849 for the Tampa Bay Lightning of Stamkos. Hence why you don't see like Matthews with some like random people. 849 for the abs of the Ginla. We've got a 999 for the Blue Jackets of Wierenski. Yeah, it's pretty common uh, on superstar players. And I, I don't necessarily disagree with that, to be completely honest. I know it sometimes sucks as a collector, but if I was McDavid, would you want your card sometimes signed with a random, like, who's going to be out of the NHL in a couple years? For the Winnipeg Jets, number to 440, Blake Wheeler. Jersey. And let's see what this puppy is. Oh, that's a good one. 1670. This is a rookie year. Ice Scripps Auto. William Nylander. So, Rookie Year Ice Scripts Auto, Nylander. That's sexy. That's pretty sweet. Alright. I don't know. I don't know if that was considered a case it back in the day. I'm gonna i I'm gonna I'm gonna go on the side of no it wasn't. Because Nylander I don't think it was, but like that's a big card. At least not bigger. <laughs> All right, McDavid. Show yourself. 602 for the Anaheim Ducks. Corey Perry. I think it's more so not necessarily that he can't uh, hold his own, Michael. I think it's like uh, if he bounces and leaves the league, does he want a card of a player that's like not with them anymore type thing? 999, Sam Bennett. Like, let's say, for example, Lafreniere signed as McDavid, right? Because they're both high-end number one picks, and then Lafreniere busts completely out. Like, at the time, it might look okay, but later on, it might look really bad. <laughs> for the Blue Jackets, to five ninety nine, dollars Josh Anderson. That's why I'm genuinely curious to see if we're going to see any Bedard-McDavid duels. Because that would be really fun. Oh, I agree with that, Michael. Yeah, for sure. He's a big, he's a beast. We've got a 499 Bebo for the Maple Leafs. Bebo Auto. I think the thing is with the hockey nowadays is there's so many good players. It's actually really hard to kind of give a top 10. Because I guarantee you anyone who gives me a top 10 now, I can argue another player could be in there. We've got a 399 Slater Cuckoo. Tampa. Like, even top five, I think, would be a semi-tough one right now to genuinely distinguish. Oh, base pack. We're getting the dual base pack box, but the first one, it worked out well. We've got, for the Montreal Canadiens, the 9.99 De La Rose. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just like me being completely biased to McDavid. I don't see how anyone takes out McDavid. I thought we just had a McDavid too. That would have been funny. And we got a Triptix jersey to 200 Hopkins. 
for the Oilers. Hopkins Oilers.